Okay, hi Collective, I'm going to do one more reading tonight because I'm absolutely exhausted and I need to sleep. Alright, who am I doing a reading for? So, whoops, better put that back or well, this ain't going to work. Who am I doing a reading for? Now, the sun. Could be a Leo I'm doing a reading for. Who am I doing a reading for? Now, someone with a lot of emotions. Someone who is not stable. Okay, this reason for someone, it could be a Leo, uh, you're emotionally happy, but with Earth in reverse, you're not stable right now. Who is this person I'm doing a reading for? For someone who's happy, got a lot of emotions, but are not stable. Who is this reading for? Okay, we got it. Leo, it is for you. Okay, Leo. This is your reading, my loves, okay? You're not stable right now, but you, you've got a hell of a lot of emotions. You're very emotional right now, but you're, at, you're either acting happy or you are happy. I feel like your st stability is a little bit off. Your stability feels off. Right, let's see what kind of a reading I'm doing for you right now. Alright, what sort of a reading are we doing for the gorgeous Leos? What reading are we doing? Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Hanged Man and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is about your stability and about your love. Okay? It's about your investment in a love situation with the Queen of Pentacles. That's what this is about for you, Leo, okay? You've got someone here who you see as your Queen of Pentacles, your end all be all person, okay? Someone who is very stable, they're loyal. Um, could be your cuddle, cuddle monster. The way these two wolves. Are clinging to each other you like to cuddle this person all right it's on pause at the moment but because this is your energy you want to come in with a cup of love for this person the knight of cups you're actually coming in with more than a cup of love for this person you want stability you want to invest in this queen of pentacles okay all right leo how do you feel about this person how do you feel king of wands you see them as vibrant, passionate. They can stand on their own two feet. This person could be a fire sign, like yourself, and there is Leo Sag. How do you feel about this person, Leo? Heartbroken. You feel defeated. But you're still making plans. You had, oh, you had plans with this person. You had plans. You made plans with this person, but it's been shattered. There could have been a third party involvement here. It doesn't have to be. Um, you feel defeated. Now tell me to clarify the two of wands. What were you planning with this person? What were you planning with this person? Oh. Look, Leo, your, your counterpart, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, this was your counterpart. Plans didn't go the way it was supposed to. We've got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. It was going to be, oh. You were planning for, for things to go in your favour. Um, it You two were actually supposed to be a couple. There was supposed to be a lot of abundance between you two. A lot of luck. You were going to be a lucky couple. It was supposed to happen. Yep. You were supposed to have... You know, there was going to be a lot of emotions between you two. It doesn't matter if you two were fire signs. Yes, fire signs are fiery. But there was a hell of a lot of emotions between you two. There was a lot of truth and clarity. You two had a lot of talks where you vented with each other. But this went south. 
Why the Three of Swords? Why the Three of Swords? Ten of Wands in reverse. I feel like this is on... This is both of you. It's like there was too much stress. There was too much conflict. There was too many burdens, possibly of family life. What is the Ten of Wands in the reverse? I felt like too many other people got involved, kept you two apart. The Two of Swords. Someone wasn't making a decision. Nine of Swords. Up all night. You're both having sleepless nights. Both of you are not sleeping. There's a lot of communication here. Okay, swords are communication. Some sort of truth has come out. Neither one of you are sleeping. You're both heartbroken over each other because you were supposed to be together and it didn't happen. Oh, Leo, I'm so sorry. I just feel like outside interference has kept you two apart. <coughs> Leo, how does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? The fool. They could possibly feel like a fool or... Yeah, this person feels like a fool. Look at the way that cat's looking. Wanting to take that leap of faith. How they feel about you. Eight of Wands, they want to talk to you. They wanted action. It's strength. This person's healing. They're healing. Okay. Seven of Wands, they're, they're a little bit guarded and defensive towards you. Or they see that you're guarded and defensive towards them. But two of Pentacles. To feel, they feel like they feel like you've got too much going on, that you're juggling too many things. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles for how they feel about you. They feel like they have they had to give you space. They had to let you go. They had to block you because there, there was a Queen of Swords in the way. And that was a secret. This person, they used their intuition. They knew they had to leave you alone because you had a Queen of Swords on your side. It didn't have to be romantic. It could be a family member. It could be an ex getting in the way here. They really, really want to talk to you, but they feel like they... They have to keep you at an arm's length right now because there is another energy in your surroundings. That's how they feel. They can't come towards you because, because of this Queen of Swords. Your Queen of Wands can't come towards you. Your King of Wands can't come towards you because of the Queen of Swords. What is their intention towards you, Leo? This person's intentions towards you. That's first. Yeah. They're trying to avoid a disaster, that's why they've blocked you. Whatever is going on between you and somebody else, your Queen of Wands or your King of Wands, they are diverting a disaster. They, they don't want to get involved in this, whatever you've got going on. They're not going to get involved. They're not going to bring a tower down and they don't want the tower brought on their doorstep. Alright? Okay? What action will they take towards you? No, I've just answered it in that. This is their intentions and their actions, okay? Alright, they are going to avoid you because they do not want drama on their doorstep from a Queen of Swords, okay, Leo? Alright, I don't think this has anything to do with you. This is this person using their intuition. This is them knowing that they have to back off so you can deal with the Queen of Swords, okay? Will you two come back together? Leo, will you get back together with your Queen of Wands or King of Wands, your divine counterpart? The world. It can happen, Leo. It can. Alright? 
The cycle has been closed between you two right now, so you can start a brand new one. Will you two come back together? Can I find two of wands? We've got the Queen of Wands, two of wands, and the Five of Swords. Can I find two of wands? Will you two come back together? going to be difficult okay because someone feels very defeated in this situation somebody is exhausted you're both exhausted by the situation there is potential for you two to talk okay the neighbor pentacles is here this is, could be an apology it could be a gift you could be talking you know the two of wands the plan is there for you two to move on i don't know whether you're going to move on with each other but with the five of swords being out here it doesn't actually look promising all right what's going on between you and the queen of swords what's going on between you and the queen of swords right now What's going on between you and the Queen of Swords? The reason why you and your Divine Counterpart are together. King of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Four. Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Strength. Temperance. And the Queen of Cups. There's now somebody else in the picture. There's now somebody else in the picture. You and the Queen of Swords. You've got a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups. You're committed to this to this Queen of Swords, okay, Leo. You're committed to him. You may be, uh, you may be married to them. You may live with them. You may have a family with them. But you are committed to the Queen of Swords, okay. But there is now another Queen out here, the Queen of Cups. Or well, this could be your divine counterpart, who is highly in highly intuitive. But what's happening between you and the Queen of Swords? Taking that leap of faith, being a bit foolish. There is a lot of passionate communication between you two. There's a lot of action between you two, but one of you is extremely guarded, trying to heal, trying to find your strength and courage to find a balance. Leo, what's currently going on between you and the Queen of Swords? Yeah, it's your family, Leo. This Queen of Swords is part of your family. They're keeping you and your divine counterpart apart. What's currently going on between you and the Queen of Swords? Trash. Plugged, tuned in, internet and connected. Leo, yeah, you are being spied on by the Queen of Swords. Okay. They're trying to find out information on you. They're trying to find out where you've been going to, where you're going, who you're talking to. And this is somebody in your family or there's someone you have children with, someone you, whoever you're living with. They're trying to find out what you're doing. But it looks like, Leo, you're throwing out the trash. You could see this Queen of Swords as trash. And you're throwing them away for your divine counterpart. Yeah, because you want a commitment. You want a long-term relationship with your Queen of Wands or King of Wands. Leo, you and your divine counterpart, what's going on with you and your divine counterpart right now? Pretending, fake and living beyond means. Racing, running and avoiding. Tragedy, it's forbidden love. Oh, it's forbidden love between you two. Oh dear, Leo, Leo, Leo. You just want to be with the love of your fucking life. But family got in the way. A family member or someone who you have children with or an ex, someone who you're living with or someone you're already in a relationship with is getting in the way of you and your true love. And I'm going to leave your reading there.